What the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. CLA. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd in on it. Buddy of Joe's? What are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the kid. He had a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony <coughs> fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Now, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Something to drink, Mr. Scalet? Is it wise to have another drink, sir? I think you have too much already, huh? Goodbye, Mr. Scalet.
Vito, what the hell are you doing here? Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me, but now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady <coughs> bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere. Sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. If Carlo wants me dead, then sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Ten four. Eric. Eric. What the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? 
Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. I'll teach you to hit a woman. House! Fuck! Come on, I need to borrow this.
pursuit of a hit and run driver. 10 4. Come on, Joe. Oh, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good oh, friend of mine right. tonight. Point this a house fucking down. Clown, I want to know who they are and where they're operating. Get any now. worse. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, now this yeah, place I know deserves place. to be burnt down. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the Mitch lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mitch got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left, so I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, you just went through a red light. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fuck. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away. 
asshole. Oh, fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. You're fucking dead! Let's go, Vito! Alright, I'm gonna try and get behind him! I'm the best! Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble! I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. It's fucking over! Ah, you're fucking brilliant! <laughs> you shoot like my sister. Uh, I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Car. Let's go to get in the way. All right, come on, you drive. <laughs> Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Roger that. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home.